the Chasing Tents everyone, this is Abby and welcome to the third video of the Haret uh, circuit trip uh, which I made in May. Uh, if you're new to the channel please do watch the other videos because there are two Portugal trips this year which I put on YouTube and there is also uh, one Haret trip. So two Portomeos and one Haret. This is day three and I'm going to take you through the day. This time I'm not using uh, Harry's lap timer is going to be Track Day Genius, which is a fabulous company. They do a great job of lap time management if you're on any European circuit. It's pretty, uh, pretty intense. Uh, you know, the, the data you get from them is unbelievable. Still, I'm going to say when you're watching the lap times, if you want to watch the actual speed, always still trust the dash of the bike. So on the top right, on my colored dash of the bike, you will see the speed. Even though the Track Day Genius software is amazing and it uses GoPro's 18 hertz per second uh, uh, GPS download speed, it can still have a little bit of delay depending on where you are, what circuit you are. So if you want the exact speed, please see the miles an hour speed on the dash. From a family in India and friends in Canada and family in Australia and New Zealand, if you want to calculate that into kilometers an hour, please do because uh, 140 odd miles an hour is about uh, 200 kilometers an hour. The first video I'm going to show you is me following the trainer, Woody. Amazing trainer of Redline, really fast guy, fantastic R1, fully loaded R1. I think, you know, he's got some World Superbike suspension and, and uh, brakes on the bike. So really, really quick guy. Uh, and uh, I'm following him for about a lap, lap and a half. And then he lets me go and uh, and I think I do uh, a lap time about 1 minute 57 something. You can see his lines are pretty consistent, pretty good. And I'm trying to follow the lines. Uh, and then uh, I do a, a half decent lap time. And then he gives me some feedback. And then I'll show you some more laps later.
guys, it might be my lucky day. Day three, afternoon, Harath. Uh, I'm having a fantastic time and look what's behind me. Williams Formula One team are here and the heritage department especially and I love my classic Formula One. Um, so we have some beautiful looking tires. Lovely. So the William guys are here. I've had permission to have a 20 second clip which is really good and I think there's another racing truck there, historic racing. I'm not gonna go there because I've only had permission to film William. So I'm in the pit garage, the Williams pit garage with all, the, uh, with all their Formula One team. So that's the tag Formula One. This is uh, the Labatt, the Canon and the Camel and the Rothman. So all the big brand. And I've just literally, literally destroyed. Yes, yes. so I am very sorry. I do apologize. So I nearly ruined that. Sorry guys and thank you very much. I appreciate it. Thank you. Take care. Oh my God. How clumsy of me. How clumsy of me. A million dollar Formula One classic car. And I just went, because I've got my suit hanging off and I'm just lifting my race suit and I've just hit a Formula One car and the carbon fiber and that's the 1993 92 94 carbon fiber that was the most brittle and the most earlier version of carbon fiber imagine if I had cracked that Eek. they would never let anybody else in their pit anyone with anyone humble like me with a small humble YouTube channel oh my god I can't believe that but hey whew, I've apologized but Wow, a ref, as you can see in the background. Day three, boiling hot, 34 degrees. Track temperature, I don't know, a thousand degrees again. <laughs> I don't know, but it's like a dream come true. I've always wanted to see and feel a Formula One car, a classic Formula One car. Modern ones you can see all the time at the Autosport show in Birmingham or, or London and stuff. But this was just fantastic. And I cannot believe I dropped a massive side pod fairing. Uh, but hey, you know what? It just, it just can't get any better. So uh, I'll sign off here. By the way, afternoon report. Um, uh, I don't know what to say. Having a great day. Uh, track day, super genius uh, team with their uh, two GoPros and their app are uh, supporting me big time. Uh, I, just, I just went out with their GoPros and uh, I think I did a 1 minute 57.4 or 1 minute 57.5 which is a great lap time excuse me yeah and then um, I'm gonna do a time trial after this that's 10 euros so uh, there's no race this time uh, last time two weeks ago in Portomeo we did a race fun race with uh, red line this time we've got a time trial so 15 second gap between every rider you go out you basically have the track day to yourself I'll be honest with you it feels like I've got the track day to myself all day anyways because a lot of people have left the Spanish and the Portuguese have left so it's only a bunch of British guys tootling around well not tootling around giving it some because it's uh, it's an empty track I'm really excited because the slicks have just come alive Pirelli Diablo Low superbike slicks SC2 at the rear SC1 in the front I've never put slicks on properly uh, I've only done two sessions before at Silverson and then I crashed on the third one because of my tire pressure lack of tire pressure monitoring maybe uh, and some bumps on the uh, at Cope's corner but amazing time but but most importantly Formula One Williams heritage Formula One team and I think I've, I've, I've attained myself a lifetime ban from those pits anyway so but I don't know I'm over the moon anyways guys I'll catch you later bye bye
welcome back guys so now I'm going to show you something really funny so after that uh, time trial race thing we had um, I got third and uh, right at the time when the trophies were getting dished out my camera of uh, my uh, GoPro battery clocked on me and it was my fault it was giving me low batteries you know status for a while and I wasn't charging it to my fault so I've got some clips here of me uh, taking the trophy and you can just see how the camera just about to go and I can just tell like, oh no you know it's just a, it's my first ever trophy there and uh, you know at a track it's for a time trial you know it's but still it's something to take away after all the hard work anyway so yeah watch that video <laughs> And now I'm going to show you some footage of a red line track that is very kindly saying, yeah, your battery ran out on your GoPro. We can see you walking around with your GoPro. Why don't you come to our pits and we'll, uh, you know, we'll, we'll do a proper kind of presentation ceremony of the trophy. And that was very nice of Malcolm from red line track. There's really nice guy. And they're all really nice at red line. It's like a, you know, family atmosphere, barbecue atmosphere. And you, you know, you get some decent lap times. You get some trophies if you do well. So, and you know, it's, it's just all, it's all worth it. So enjoy that video. Hey, whatever you want and the third place in the intermediate race is Abby. Thank you, thank you very much. Woo! Thank you, thank you, thank you. Yeah! Thank you, thank you. Cheers, thank you. Welcome back everyone, I hope you enjoyed that video. Now I'm going to show you my last session at uh, on, on day three. Uh, there were still two more sessions to go, but uh, I kind of like thought this is do or die. Just do it and then finish for the day before you actually crash. So this is a, a very uh, unusual video angle. Uh, this is just uh, kind of facing, the camera is facing me and you can see some really nice movements, some smooth movements, you know, see how what I do. And I do a lap time of 1 minute 56.4 or 0.5, which, you know, coming from a 2 minute 2, which was kind of 2 minute 1, 2 minute 2, which was really kind of my, where I was thinking, okay, these super courses, I'm kind of, you know, what more can I get out of them uh, uh, before things get dangerous? And when I put the slicks on, kind of everything changed and mindset changed and I started to give it some more. So yeah, interesting video. Enjoy it. If you watch it on the big screen, if you can, it'd be great because then you can not only see me moving around on the bike, you'll also see that small screen on the top, that'll be bigger, so you'll see where I'm going. It's only a lap uh, or a lap and a half, which shows a 1 minute 57 and a 1 minute 56, uh, which I was very pleased with. So enjoy the video.
So with my bike problem I had, which I have a fueling issue between 9,000 and 11,000 revs, I have no power. So I was always scared of coming out of the corners. You know, I never used to give it full gas, full gas, no matter how much, I mean, for small, what's uh, that guy from Motor Voodoo? Uh, massive shout out to him. You know, I learned so much from him, closed throttle turning and how you need to make use of these tiny little straights among the corners, uh, what's his name? Motor Voodoo, uh, Simon Crafer. You know, he does Motor GP commentating a bit um, or a pit walk and stuff like that. So yeah, so he's saying that you need to make use of this short uh, straight in between turns. My, my goodness, I, you know, I used to give it 60% throttle, 80% throttle. My bike is so powerful that in my mind that was enough. Now, because I have that bike problem, I know that if I only give it 50, 60, 70, 80, 90 percent, I will come to that bracket, that rev range where I will lose the power. I only had one option, either to quick quick shift so I don't reach that level, that's 9,000 revs, I, I will be slow. My only option was to give it the absolute full beans on every single mini straight. I mean, straight is a given. You know, if, you, if you're not giving full throttle on a straight, I'm sorry, you are a, I don't know, that was, the game changer for me I'm not scared of wheelies anymore I'm not scared of my bike sliding out you know I've never had that you know my bike was like in the last two sessions every corner full beans the rear is sliding out and sometimes you learn how to use that slide to your benefit so that you're pointing towards the next corner just you know sorry is it's been a long chatter but I just wanted this chat to be a confidence booster for a lot of people who go out on the track days and, and are not giving their best, you know, for people who have got stuff in their head and not giving their best. There's millions of people. I was one of them. I still am a little bit, but I got rid of a lot of gremlins today and yesterday, you know, by putting slicks on, by, you know, by using my problem to my advantage. I'll do a video on that one day. You know, big words I'm saying today. Anyways, guys, it's been a great success. I'll put the lap time somewhere and I'll put some lovely footage on. I'm really excited. I'm going back home, UK. I'm tan, I'm brown as anything, but I'm really happy. You know, thank you for watching. Thank you for being patient, uh, you know, in, in listening to me. Uh, but it's been wonderful. I wish you guys success and safety on tracks and just win some trophies in your head and win that gremlin which is stopping you to give it what you really want to give it in your head. Bye bye, take care, see you later.